Hi everyone, uh, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can use the Tropome Explorer app available within Google Earth Engine to download the air quality data in CSV format to your system. And uh, you know that if you want to use Google Earth Engine to download this data, you should be knowing the JavaScript. Uh, so, but if you use this app called Tropomi Explorer, there is no need for coding it's, and it's very easy to download this data to your system in CSV format. That's the good thing about it. So let's begin this tutorial. And before we start, uh, uh, this app Tropomi Explorer was developed by JB JDB code or uh, it's just in so all credits go to him for developing such a wonderful app and in order to open this app you should be having a valid Google Earth Engine account which is free you can create it and after creating it once you're done with it just come back to uh, Google search and just search Tropomi Explorer and open the app so it's coming it will take a while okay so this is the this is going to be the interactive uh, interface of our app and by default they are plotting the key uh, spatial variation in nitrogen dioxide uh, across the world i think so what we have to do is we need to select our region of interest and before that we need if you all want for example, I want to choose the variation in carbon monoxide in a particular region, which is going to be Kochi, with a city in Kerala, India. And then you have to select the map date. The left date going to be your start date. And I'm going to choose uh, 2021 January 1st to 2020 and this is the right one is going to be my end date and which i'm going to specify as 2021 april 30th so that's it uh, we have specified our start date and end date and if you want you can make some changes in the color palette which, which is i'm not going to do and an important thing you should notice here is that uh, this app is going to take the uh, vertically integrated column mean like nine day mean of the carbon monoxide concentration and plot it it's not uh, it does not show the daily changes in the carbon monoxide concentration in the air column instead it will show the nine day mean because you know that if you're choosing a small area then daily measurements won't happen due to the cloud or due to some other reason so here we will be it will be showing the uh, nine day average and now it is now that you have to choose your region of interest in my case this is going to be Kochi here and I'm going to choose the rectangle if you, you can also add a point to your re, your uh, location of interest but in my, my case I'm going to want the variation in carbon monoxide concentration over this region between the specified dates and once you are done with uh, drawing the rectangle you can see the app has generated the variation in carbon monoxide concentration in the air column over that particular region between the uh, start date it is going to be january 1st 2021 and the end date which is going to be April 30th, 2021. So here you can see it has plotted the uh, variation in carbon monoxide concentration right from the beginning when the, uh, the sensor became active and until recently or until the recent measurement. So we need only the values between these two. So in that case, you can uh, open this and download the CSV file which contains the values and the corresponding dates. So here you can see, wait a second. Okay, you just download the CSV and open it. So this is going to be the date and this is going to be the concentration. 
so it started from 2018 we don't need that you can scroll down to your uh, start date starting date it's going to be january 1st but no measurement is available on january 1st because it's taking the nine day average so the first measurement is going to be on january 4th 2021 and then after nine days then again after nine days it goes like that until uh, april 30th because you can see the last measurement was taken on april 22nd and after that there is may 1st so this is it you can use uh, like whatever data is available that you can use the daily measurements are not available as of now in this app however still you can use the 9 day average for your research calculations and all so thanks for watching this video i'll be posting more about regarding earth engine chis and our programming do subscribe the channel and thanks for watching